Hi, once again, everybody, and Happy New Year. This is Tim, N2LCJ. And today we're going to talk to you about one of those tired old subjects that you only had to learn to pass your theory test, capacitance coupling. Now, the first question that you might be asking yourself is, Tim, why do you keep surrounding yourself with all these old things? And to be honest, I find that I learn more about the principles of radio operation by going back in time. And I'm going to tell you exactly how I found out about this one. Began to restore this old three dialer here. And my voice is a little rough today. And uh, I, I went and replaced all the tubes and did everything, built a power supply. But how do you tune this stupid thing? Well, what I ended up doing was hooking up my signal generator, I cheated, put it on 9.30 a.m., tuned it until I got the hum from the signal generator and then shut it off. And lo and behold, WBEN comes in loud and clear. Thought, fantastic, I figured this out. Then I went to unplug the signal generator and I lost the signal. What? Well, I tried hooking up my antenna, came in really weak, couldn't figure it out. So I, I had a signal generator hooked up to this radio for a long time until I figured out why it was happening. And what I came up with is capacitance coupling. Now, since I didn't want to have a signal generator hooked up to this thing all the time, I had to explore what exactly capacitance coupling is. And the first thing that they show you online is a diagram like this. It does absolutely no good. Um, doesn't really show what capacitive coupling is or how to make a capacitance coupled circuit. So the second diagram that I found online was something like this. And I thought, okay, well, that's that's easy enough. You know, you can just wrap a wire around an AC cord. Well, God, why hadn't thought of, anybody thought of this in the past? So the first thing I did when I saw that diagram was I took an AC line cord and a piece of wire. And I continually wrapped it around the wire. Oh, I don't know, maybe 10 turns plug the radio in to see that it, it just it, it didn't do anything. So I think, you know, the people that came up with the idea of capacitance coupling couldn't be wrong. It had to do with something that I was doing wrong. So what I ended up doing is increasing the amount of wire that I used to wrap around here. In fact, what I did is I took a piece of metal shielding and I stretched it around the wire, and lo and behold, I came up with my very first capacitor. Um, this actually worked extremely well. I, I was really surprised. Um, this went through a few design changes, and I ended up coming up with this. I used uh, clear neoprene tubing to space the coils and mounted it around a PVC form. Now all this clip lead does is it attaches on the inside to this and you plug it into the wall. Now I was so excited about this subject because I'm gonna challenge you out there to take it a step further than I did, but I want to show you how this works and how well it works. This radio right here, yes, this is a radio, was designed from a patent from the Bureau of Standards from 1921. It's almost 100 years old. Believe it or not, this thing was found in a dairy farm barn in Wisconsin. I, I can't make this stuff up. Anyways, what I did is I hooked it to a modern Bose powered speaker. And we hook the capacitance coupled antenna right to the antenna jack. Now bear in mind, the radio itself is not powered. This is just a, an antenna. So let's plug it in. Plug in the antenna. And plug in
Isn't that amazing? This radio is over a hundred years old. Without this power on headphones, it's actually loud. But you'd never suspect that this is what it was powering. So this kind of brings to life one of those dusty old theories that everybody only looks up when they have a problem. Now, these particular antennas, I actually designed and sold a bunch of these to, uh, uh, to people that operate these old three dialers and crystal sets. I think I was getting like 30 bucks a piece for them. I made a whole bunch of them. Anyways, what, what kind of excited me about this is the potential to see what it would do with a tuner. Now, this antenna does extremely well with AM and FM. Shortwave is okay, you know, I, I, I've used better. But imagine what this would do if you were able to tune your entire house circuit to a certain frequency. Something that maybe I'll try in the future, or maybe you will. But in effect, the house wiring is the antenna because of this capacitance circuit. I tried a bunch of designs, they came out with a bunch of them in the 70s, and they were really lousy. Uh, I actually got this design from a Zenith TV wave magnet from around 1960, and it works extremely well. So I hope this has been entertaining for you. Um, my new camera comes in tomorrow, but I really couldn't wait. I was really excited about showing this to you. And this is what capacitance coupling is and how it can work for you. If any of you are interested in potentially trying to modify this design, send me a message. I'll send you one of these. They're fantastic. Until uh, next time, this is Tim, N2LCJ. Have a great day. Gotta get that camera with an automatic shutoff.